Sup guys, welcome to another tutorial. I'm going to be doing another um, advanced weapon tutorial because uh, a viewer requested that uh, requested a grenade tutorial. So I'm going to show you how can we press a key on the keyboard and then we're going to throw a grenade that is going to apply damage to the nearby actors and it will play a little bit of a special effect. And so let's see how we can do this. So the first thing that I did was I'm going to um, first of all let me just say that I already done the tutorial because there was something I was recording it the first time, but I took a lot of time to figure out the setting. Uh, so I'm going to redo this so it doesn't take that much time. And I will explain every step of the way. So the first thing that I did was I got into the first person projectile, right click and duplicate it. And then I call it a grenade and actually misspelled grenade. Or did I? Wait, what? Well, I don't know, whatever. So I duplicated the first person projectile, double click that up, and then I basically applied some changes. This is the code that I did. I will explain that in a bit. So the first thing, let's go into the viewport. And over here on the components, uh, I run into the sphere and I set it up the scale. Uh, so I lock this to, you know, when we press a value, it's going to change to all of them. And I just increase this to 0.1 to 0 0.15. So the grenade is a little bit bigger than the bullets. Then I just went into the materials and selected a random one. It's like whatever. And then, what did I do? Okay, I went to the projectile and I changed uh, the projectile stats. So I just went into the initial speed, make it uh, 500, max speed 500. And I just uh, gone down here into the velocity and make it, I made it the same. So change it to 500. Uh, that's everything that I changed over here. So you can just compile and save and actually go into the collision component and make it um, so it overlaps with the sphere on the outside. So the collision is actually uh, accurate. So make sure that's set up. Then we can just go into the event graph and make the code of our grenade. So what we want to do, um, so uh, there's going to be something over in the event hit. Uh, after this is going to be a destroy actor node, like this. Okay, destroy actor, where are you? Okay. Just go ahead and delete that and just leave it like this. You can leave the same. Just go and type in an event begin play over in the browser. Event begin play. Add a delay. Uh, I'm going to do my grenade um, exploding after three seconds I throw it. Then I just went and called a node called apply damage. Oh, sorry. Apply, the fuck am I doing? There you go. Apply damage with fall off because we don't like, we want to have a little bit of fall off on the damage because it is a grenade. The base damage I put 200, the minimal damage I put 20. The origin I just got the get actor location from over here. Basically, I plugged in the origin of the damage to the location of the grenade. Then I went in the damage in the radius is a meter and a half. And out already, so like for the max range of the grenade, I put 500. The damage fell off, I used uh, the value of 5. I don't know if that's correct, but I. You can play around with these values, obviously, to whatever you want. I put in the damage type to. Um, damage type, basically, the default one. They, no, they ignore actors. I drag from over here. I type in uh, make, make array. And then I just drag from over here and made a self. Got a reference to self. So basically, this grenade will ignore itself when exploding. And the damage prevention channel, uh, I just play, put this to camera. But you can do this to whatever you want. So I'm going to put this to world static. So static meshes will block the damage. So if you hide behind an object, you're not going to suffer damage. Then this is just a little debug that I did. You can actually, I'm going to delete that. And after this, uh, I'm just going to uh, do two things. First of all, I'm going to spawn the special effect for the grenade exploding. So just type in uh, spawn emitter at location. Then I made a, a P explosion. This come with the start pack, the start pack of Unreal. Uh, I just plugged in this get actor location and actually plug it in into the special effect. And then I just typed in destroy actor. After we do all of this, we're just going to destroy the grenade. So that's really simple. Uh, so another grenade uh, itself is done. But now we need to do something on our first person character. So let's open that up. Um, then we're going to need to do two things. First of all, 
I made the keyboard to throw in the grenade uh, a Q, a uh, G, I, uh, I guess. So I'm just gone into keyboard G, and I did an event, keyboard event. Then from over here, I just created the variable, named that grenades. This is going to be the amount of grenades that you spawn with, and I just put the default value of 3. The type is an integer. And I dragged in and I hold uh, B and click to create a branch. And I just went, well, I, gr I got the grenades. If this is bigger than zero, then I'm going to have grenades to throw. If this is true, I will spawn an actor from class. And I just made the class of our projectile. So grenade, there you go. You can get your class that you created over here. And the spawn transform, I got to uh, add into the viewport, add a component arrow. I call it grenade and I just put that over here um, a little bit to the right of the camera so it like it looks like like you're throwing a grenade from your right and then I just got that arrow over here into the viewport uh, the graph I got its roll transform and I just plug that into the spawn transform the collision handling override I just used try to adjust location but always spawn and then I just got in got the grenades from me over here drag it over here I get it I do a minus integer minus integer put a one over here and just uh, drag from over here set the grenades and set it to that value so every time we throw a grenade we remove one of the grenades from our inventory another thing that I did is so we can see the damage that the grenade is doing I type in uh, an event any damage there you go it's over here this event any damage come with the default unreal damage system so if this character receives any kind of damage this event is going to trigger and what makes trigger this is basically this apply radial damage will be causing that damage so when this grenade explodes it, this node makes this event trigger and then I just did a print string like this and then drag the damage to the in string this node will be created so we can have uh, we can visually see how much damage we received from the grenade another thing before I forget we need to go into our grenade press the grenade self and there are going to be an initial lifespan back here that is three just put that to zero because uh, we are destroying the grenade ourselves uh, so instead of after three seconds we destroying the grenade uh, I'm just going to do it after whatever value we have in our timer so if I wanted to have 10 seconds of uh, for our grenade timer this will only destroy after 10 seconds because if this is three uh, the grenade is just going to automatically uh, be destroyed after three seconds so leave that zero, compile and save, and I can actually see this happening. So I'm going to play, I'm going to throw our grenade, you can see it's a little bit too big but you can change the scale. Uh, actually I was too far away, let's throw another one, and over here I die, so you can see 200 damage, uh, and if I step a little bit away, you can see that I received 38 damage. So that's because of our damage fell off, and stuff like that. I can go ahead instead of making this 5. I'm just going to make these two on the apply radial damage if I compile and actually play if I throw the grenade and you can see that the damage will change so now I received 88 from this range and over here I received 96 but if I get really close on it I'm going to receive 200 damage so this is basically a grenade, um, a grenade that you can throw you're going to have your specific amount of grenades and you can use the same system as we pick up weapons you can do the same thing to uh, increase this integer so you can have more grenades it's really easy whatever you do you just go into uh, and you go ahead and set the grenades and just do a plus so plus one and get the grenades value and then whatever you trigger this set is like with um, the same way that you do our weapons like over here on the collision, when you press the collision of a grenade that is on the ground, we just um, you just execute this and we will add another grenade to the inventory. I'm not doing this because uh, I already should already do it with the weapons, so I don't really think it's necessary. But if you want me to, to do this or anything else at all, some people have been leaving some very good suggestions, so thank you for that. And yeah, hof hopefully you guys enjoyed. Again, any doubts, anything that you want me to do in the comments, Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye bye.